What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you the best in-game settings for Rust for low to mid-end systems, in order to increase your performance and still get a great gaming experience. This should be quite an easy tutorial, everything you need will be listed in the description below. Open up Rust and navigate to your options. Here, under Options, set the FOV slider to a value you prefer. This will not reduce your performance by a lot if increased to 90. Under Physics, make sure to reduce this value to around 60. In your Screen Options, make sure to set the Screen Resolution option to your native monitor resolution. In case you're using an abnormal screen resolution as I am, then make sure to reduce it to around 1920x1080 to save some resources, as the game still looks very playable at 1080p. Set the Window Mode to Full Screen, turn off VSync, and set the FPS limit to a value above your screen's refresh rate, but below the maximum FPS you can get. Don't forget to apply your changes. In the Graphics tab, make sure to set the graphics quality between 2 and 4, depending on your graphics card. For low-end GPUs, you should probably reduce this option to 1 or 0. In case you have some performance to spare after applying these next tweaks, then feel free to increase these settings later on. Make sure to set all of the other graphics quality options to a minimum, especially your shadow and water options. For low-end systems, make sure to set your draw distance to around 1600. In your mesh quality options, set the particle quality option to around 40, and the object quality option to around 85. All of the other settings can be set to a minimum for now. Under image effects, make sure to disable anti-aliasing and depth of field. Most of the other settings will not change your performance, but might be distracting to some players. Under Experimental, make sure to disable the shadow options. Make sure to also turn off Occlusion Culling, as this should increase your frame rate by a lot. In case you need more performance, then make sure to follow my Rust FPS Boost Guide, linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.